The Discovery to Cure program is running now in its 11th year. And the main objective of the program was to incentivate in the youth their interest for the science, especially basic science, and with the idea also of uh, feeding uh, the future, uh, what we call the physician scientist. In other words, uh, students that either want to go to medicine, but at the same time to keep their interest on digging on understanding more the, the biology, the physiology, and the physiopathology of uh, our clinical problems. More than 80% of the students that has, have graduated from the program, they chose to go in the science pathways as well as medical school. So we have, as I mentioned to you, we have following all the students, and we know that they are successful in medical school applications, completing medical school now, and uh, a high percentage, so more than 80%, they go for the science. So yes, we are making a difference. One of the reasons the program continues growing, uh, mentioned that this, we started with four students 11 years ago, and this year we have 175 applications, and we were able to accept only 35 students. With the new situation of NIH and the cuts in terms of funds, we are getting what I call a double hit. What I mean this, in one hand we are cutting our budget so we have less funds to support the students, but more important, the, the scientists, the, the principal investigators, they also have been cut it and they are closing their doors to accepting the students because they don't have the funds to make many of this research. So I mentioned we have a high pool of students interested in science we are not able to give this opportunity to all the students that we would like, to all the students that deserve to have this opportunity because the funds are cut. That is like building a wall in the future of science of this country.